Friends, hello, hope you have had a wonderful day. We got one more day in the market here, speaking of days. Wow, let's talk about Global Star. So, I know a lot of you have been with me since, you know, what have we been talking about Global Star for two years now? A lot of us bought in, the, in at the 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 uh, low dollar range with Global Star. And we are seeing some major profits, profits right now. And we're seeing a lot of good news. And another big thing that we're seeing right now with Global Star that's really just like, uh, you know, from this time to last year, we never would have thought we would have seen this. But it's really hard to find a negative review, a negative analyst pick where they're saying don't buy Global Star, where they're saying negative things about Global Star. It is complete opposite right now with what we're seeing with Global Star, GSAT, telecommunications company. It, it, this thing is on fire. It's continuing to grow. I hope people bought early on. If you haven't, you're still fine. Let's talk about what we're seeing right now with Global Star. So, from the last time I talked about Global Star, there hasn't been a lot of new news. They did recently just have quarterlies come out, and actually the quarterlies like were not even mind blowing. They were actually behind a little bit, but still, it wasn't terrible. But they weren't like, oh my god, life changing quarterlies. They were just kind of like, eh, they're still growing from last year. Of course, everything's better than last year, obviously. But you know, the news. Um, I made a big video a while back about Global Star. Uh, when Global Star came out here a few months ago, talking about what they were planning on doing over the next course of you know one to four you know five years, um, they're going to be putting in their new satellites in orbit. They're going to be pushing their technology. A lot of big things going on with Global Star, and you know honestly. <sighs> Global Star is a little behind pace, I will say, compared to where a lot of us wanted it. You know, a lot of us were thinking Global Star was going to be at least at a 250 range here, but we've seen steady growth in Global Star here, and this is really, really good. This is probably the healthiest we've seen Global Star in probably the last six months, to be honest. You know, when not talking about the last two months. And you know, over a year ago, we had that B. Riley Finance when they were saying Global Star was an undervalued stock. They suspected by the end of 20, 2022 that Global Star should be sitting somewhere around a, they had a, like a three, what was it, 320, 350 share per Global Star. Um, I don't know that we're going to hit that. You know, I, I would be very happy to end this year with Global Star at even a 250 high, you know, $3 range. That would be tremendous, um, you know. I think a lot of us will agree on that because we've been waiting this long. It's like, you know, we'll at least take that. Friends, it, like I said, there's not too much new news with Global Star. Global Star is not like an AMC squeeze, anything like that. So if you're on here looking for something like that, this is the wrong stock, wrong video. If you're looking for a growth stock, you're looking for something to slowly putting money to, this is really what you want to pay attention to. This is an actual company that you can invest money into that's bringing in slow growth, that's bringing in better quarterlies, uh, and that's bringing in new technology. They have a plan. They have a goal. They're going for it. Hopefully, you know, we, we can't always count on what companies say. Obviously, they're trying to put out good news and talk about what they're doing and Global Star does that. They've always been good with, you know, expressing their thoughts, their news. Um, and you know, that's not always the case with a lot of companies. A lot of times companies they, they they don't talk as much as they should. And that's not really Global Star. They talk just enough to keep people, you know, up to date with with what's going on here. So friends I'm still in Global Star. I still love Global Star. It just sits there um, and I just watch it, I think, like a lot of us. So, you know, we'll probably be talking about Global Star here for a few more years. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I, and I, I really don't think that even buying this at a dollar sixty seventy, uh, even $2 range is going to be uh, too much because I do expect Global Star to continue to grow here because, you know, look at the future here. What is the future going towards? It's going towards more technology. It's going towards more communications, better signal, better everything. Telecommunications is going to continue to grow and be a big, big source of revenue into the future. So definitely please pay attention to Global Star, friends. I, I don't want anybody to miss the boat on Global Star. Pay attention to what this company's doing and check them out. So friends, with all that said, I'm excited. I know a lot of you are, and um, we're just going to continue to have our money in Global Star, keep putting money in Global Star, and watch what happens here. Friends, I will talk to you very soon. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye.